said, growing up in Braddock, when I was young and my friends was young, everything was packed around here. But this town was one of the best towns in the valley one time. Wasn't nothing like it. Went to hell. If there's a bottom, we ain't hit it yet here. We, we still headed for the bottom. The hospital leaving, so that just shows you we ain't done yet. Here today, uh, because UPMC decided uh, to close this hospital in Braddock because... UPMC does not care. They said initially that it was because utilization rates were low. Well, you know what? We looked at the numbers they reported to the state and utilization was not low. A matter of fact, it was higher than average. And then they told us it was not utilization. It had to do with the type of sick people in the hospital. And it's easy really to solve the UPMC. I mean, you, it's always have an insatiable appetite. UPMC okay. said, seems to have an insatiable appetite for bumping up other hospitals, for expanding their base in, through uh, Europe, through Cyprus. I mean, for all I know, they're developing zombies in Cyprus to come back, and they'll end up moving, you know, kill all the states and moving all the hospitals there. The CEO of UPMC, Mr. Ramoff, and the board of directors of UPMC need a heart transplant! It's going to be tough. A lot of these people can't get, you know, get around. And by the time you get somebody to a hospital, a Keysport or a Forbes or Shady Side, you know, it's, it might be too late. It's a sad story. If Dr. King were here today, he'd be standing right. with us. Right. He wouldn't be standing in the boardroom with Mr. Romoff and the UPMC Board of Directors. Greed is what this is about. And we need to be yeah. greedy too. But we need to be greedy about the only thing that God says we can be greedy about. Do you know what that is? Justice. Yeah. And they're still making a million dollars a day. They want to close this, and they want to open up a second hospital in Monroeville. Right across the street from another hospital. Father God, we ask that you just help us to be united, Lord God, to stand as one uh, coming against Goliath, that Goliath will fall. We need elected officials to stand with us when times are tough and when their leadership is needed to set a different course. And God knows, ladies and gentlemen, we need to set a different course in this city, in this community, and in our nation today. It's not going to change. No matter what Obama does, when you lose their manufacturing jobs, there's nothing to fall back. The government can do whatever they want, but they're not going to change. Just watch that rent. That stop sign at the end of the rent. Watch how many people run it. In a hurry to get out of here. They made their money. They get the hell out of Braddock. Everybody says it's coming back. It ain't coming back. No. It's too far, it's too late. If you don't learn anything from your history, which I think, which will eliminate a lot of it in this town, then you are bound to repeat the same thing that caused it to go down in the first.